I've been a professional mountain biker for like over 16 years and I started dirt jumping and slopes down and free ride. Now this is where I am right now. So when I was learning tricks back in the day, I would crash and crash and crash, pretty much crash so much in one day that one mountain biker would do in his whole lifetime, but in one day. And I had to survive that day just so I could land that one trick. Now there's an art to crashing. There is so much going on when it comes to doing a crash. I know you crash and you don't know what's going on, but if you can open your mind up and start to determine how you are gonna crash before you're gonna crash, then you can potentially save yourself from an injury. I'd rather save myself than my bike when it comes to an injury. This has a potential for throwing you over the bars if you grab the front brake. Now I've seen so many people going down with the ship, holding on and going face first into the floor, doing the whole scorpion thing. Now, why would you want to go into the floor face first? Why wouldn't you just jump over your bars? I think it's because it's all happening quick, but if you understand that you are going over the bars, it's so easy to just let go and get your legs over your bars and land potentially on your feet or get into a tuck and roll situation so you don't land on your face. And the best thing is, like I always would say, is get away from your bike as fast and as quick as possible because you don't want this to hinder your landing or get caught up because that's going to hurt. This is a great place to start learning how to get off your bike very quickly in a sticky situation. Just ride along the fire road and just quickly jump off your bike and just that there, if you react really quick by getting off your bike in a sticky situation, it could save you from potentially stopping, getting over the bars, or getting flung around in a horrible rough section. Quickly jumping off your bike, it's gonna help you react real quick when it comes to a horrible, horrible bit in the trail where it's going wrong. Practice that, get on, get it off. It's gonna help you, trust me. Oh, tuck and roll is the best thing you can do when you crash. You don't wanna go hands first, straight into that. You don't wanna go legs first, straight into it because all those contact points on the floor have a tendency to just snap under pressure. You just want to tuck and roll because it'd be like a ball. You just roll forever. Keep those limbs in. Okay, this next one is when you get to a real bad section and you don't want to go off it and you can't stop and the best way to get out of it is out the back door like that. Just throw yourself off the back and land, but it's only when you come to a really horrible situation in a trail that you actually don't want to go near it. Just get off the back of your bike, throw it away from you because that could make or break yourself. But it'll probably break your bike, which I'm sorry, but it's not you, and it's all about you. This, you can fix it. When a jump goes wrong, it's always good to get away from your bike because you don't want to have that bike underneath you when you land, because it's going to hurt. You want to abandon ship for sure. He has a few clips of us dudes on GMBN using these techniques when it comes to crashing out there on the trail. Ow! Okay, so I've gone through the archives of Neil and I've picked the most recent crash from Neil. Take a look at this one. He is in a muddy situation. As you can see, it's a front wheel washout, but you can see how he's tucked and rolled onto his back to slide out of it. A perfect way to get out of that crash. Take a look at this clip. It's myself out at Audi 9s on this humongous step up. Now I'm trying a 360 on my downhill bike and it's going horribly wrong. Now what I'm doing already is I'm spotting my landing. I'm getting rid of my bike, looking at my spot where I'm gonna land and I'm gonna tuck and roll as soon as I hit the ground. I don't wanna land standing up. You wanna collapse into this crash. <laughs> Flap it, oh my God. <laughs> Look at that, it's enough crashing for your entertainment for me as well. I don't want to get hurt, but I have crashed so much and these techniques are going to definitely help you out when you get to a situation where you need to abandon ship. For sure, get away from your bike, tuck and roll, and just stay safe out there. Now, if you want to stick around and you, oh man, you're missing out on stuff because you haven't subscribed to our channel, click up here to subscribe on the globe because you're missing out. Click over here to stick around again to watch another rad video and give us a thumbs up like if you love to crash or you like seeing me crash. I'll see you at the next one. See ya.